And ABC 17's Joshua Blount joins us live from Rockbridge High School this morning, where he's standing by with Superintendent Brian Yearwood. Josh, good morning. Ben, good morning. Now, like you mentioned, I am here at Rockbridge High School, joined by Superintendent Brian Yearwood. How are you doing this morning? Uh, doing great. Very excited about today. That's great. So my first question is, it's the first day of classes. How does the district feel about the school, about the children coming back to class? We are excited. As you know, this is a day of celebration. We have not been able to start school like this in several years. And we're just all excited and we're ready to welcome our scholars back. And every school that we have today will be celebrating our scholars as they enter for the first time um, uh, coming back from the summer. And we're just ready to go. So I also read that you all have filled all the teaching positions across the district, you know, and you also are also off to a better start this year compared to a couple of years before. You know, talk to me about that. Yes, absolutely. Um, we have all our teaching positions filled, and that speaks to the quality within our district, the quality of our existing staff, the quality of our school board, the quality of our leadership, our principals. Um, you know, to be able to create that environment where teachers want to come here, and, and this is not um, happening at school districts across the country. There are many school districts that have massive teacher shortages. Some have to even cut classes, but I have to be proud to say that here in CPS we've created an environment where our teachers want to come teach here. The support of our community is evident, our parents, um, it just coalesces around uh, an environment that talks about putting scholars first and because of that I, I, we see that individuals, professionals want to join our family, our CPS family. And you know, um, nearly 95 stu 9,500 students will be traveling to school on buses today. Um, you know, talk to me about the current bus staffing within the district. Yes, much better than last year. Now we are not where we want to be, but we are in a much, much better place. Last year we spoke more about shortages. This year we're not talking about that, but we are always looking to recruit quality bus drivers, quality individuals to come to a school district and transporting or 9,500. 500 students we will not uh, miss a beat we will continue to do that and you know again we, we, we are not near to the position we were in last year where we we had much shortage and you know what is one message that you want to leave the families and the students as they arrive and go through their first day of class yes I want to leave uh, students saying come on come into our schools ready for an exciting year come into our schools and uh, as you come by we will celebrate you and we're going to make this year a, 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 a year of excitement with our families we want to say thank you for your support thank you for allowing us to to, to educate your most precious child within our schools and um, this all we ask uh, for community a word of caution we have lots of scholars coming to school today you know be careful in those bus zones you know because we will see more pedestrians with our scholars coming into schools we'll see our buses moving around so we ask this um, please exercise a, a bit of caution um, and for us we're excited remember this is our hundred and fiftieth year celebration we have been in existence for hundred and fifty years again that speaks to the quality institution the quality of Columbia public schools and we'll be celebrate celebrating that throughout the year Thank you, Superintendent Euro, for your time this yeah. morning. Yes, yeah, thank you. And Ben, we will continue to cover Rockbridge High School and students as they go back to school on their first day today. Reporting live from Columbia, Joshua Blount, ABC 17 News. Thanks, Josh. There's some, there's some great stuff from Superintendent Yearwood. And, of course, you can find all of our back-to-school coverage by going to our website at abc17news.com.